In this video, I'll explain how data filtering and sorting options can help you create relevant charts in Looker Studio. Let's start with a real life example. Our content team wants to know which blogs in the website have the most engagement. Firstly, I'll create a table with page path as a dimension and engage sessions as a metric. However, now page path returns information about all the pages on our website. I need to narrow it down to only blogs. The blog URL always contains the word blog, so I can use a filter to narrow down the data. To do so, I'd need to go to Setup, scroll down, and click Add a filter. I select the field that I want to filter, in this case, page path. Next, I'll choose the contain condition and type blog. Let's name it blog filter so I can find it later on and save it. Now, I filtered the table to show only the pages that contain the word blog in the page path. To know which ones have the most engaged sessions, go to sort and select Engage Sessions in descending order. Great, now our content team knows which blogs had the most engagement. You can find and manage your filters by going to the resource menu and clicking Manage Filters. With a filter, you can either exclude or include data based on a certain condition. Filters have several conditions such as equal to, contains, starts with, in, is null, and the possibility to do more advanced filtering using regex. To create filters based on several conditions, you can use OR and AND operators. Now let's take a look at adding a calculated field to your report. Here I have a scorecard with the total amount spent for this month and a table broken down by campaign. The default currency of our Facebook account is euros, which means that that's the currency we're looking at. Let's say I want the dashboard currency to be in Chinese Yuan instead. Our finance department said that they would send us an email with different conversion rate every month. I need to set up a dashboard in a way that allows me to change that conversion rate every month pretty easily. To start, let's go to the data menu on the right when you can find the list of fields available by default from the connector. To add a new field, click Add a field. The Euro to Chinese Yen average conversion rate for the month of October shared with us is 7.08 Yen equal to 1 Euro. So I'll type 7.08 and write a descriptive title under field name. Click Save and then Done to close the window. I can now find my new field on the list and it is marked by the FX symbol. Now I need to add the calculated field to the table. A calculated field is a formula that performs some action on one or more fields in your data source. Calculated fields can perform arithmetic and math, manipulate text, date, geo information, and assign values based on conditions. I'll multiply the amount spent by conversion rate and add a field name. Now I can reuse that field in other charts. When our finance department gives me new conversion rate for November, I can edit the conversion rate field. The entire report will adjust to the new rate. Also, if the same data source is used in several dashboards, all these dashboards will update. It is also possible to add a calculated field to a chart. However, the calculated field will only be a part of that particular chart, and you cannot reuse it in other charts. I recommend creating calculated fields in the data source when possible. 